your prerequisite is having studied Time Maker Matrix Lesson 7, Grouping. In this tutorial, we will go over how to know what to assign to what person. This is the first time we'll be taking a look at correct workload leveling in the matrix, and we'll be specifically regarding Time Maker messages and emails. The first thing we'll need to take a look at is the little icon of a bishop that's called Show Production Items. Clicking on this button will unselect it, since it's selected by default, and will hide all production items. Clicking it again will show them. As you know, the matrix displays a little white box like this with a number in it that says exactly how many days are without tasks between days with tasks. So that brings me to this little arrow on the side. If I click it, it says include empty days for and none is selected. This is the default and this is what says don't show any empty days. Instead, just show me the little white box. If we click on the today option, if today didn't have any tasks, it would show us an empty column without tasks. However, we do have tasks, so it doesn't do much. If we go to this week, it will show us any empty days that are in this week. As you see, the fifth doesn't have any tasks for that day. And now there's an empty column displayed. Next is the three weeks option. Clicking this will show us any empty days in the next three weeks. There are quite a bit of empty days. And if we scroll to the right, we see that our matrix ends on the 10th. After the 10th, there are just no more tasks. So there's no point displaying any empty columns. And that's the show production items button. Next is the show messages emails button. Clicking on this button will show the number of emails and time maker messages in all of the performer's inbox, which you have a right to view, including yours, of course. They are arranged on a column according to the dates received and will always be today or in the past since you can't receive an email in the future. Clicking on this button will hide the messages and emails or clicking it again will show them. This small mail icon that we're looking at indicates we're looking at a time maker message and to its left, we see whose inbox it's in. This little green icon indicates we're looking at an email, and to its left, we can see whose inbox that's in. The E inside the box stands for email, and the M stands for messages. The two numbers with a slash in between indicate from left to right the total number of messages or emails for the day, and next, how many of them are unread. So in our case, in Adam Green's inbox, there are four time maker messages, three of them unread. It works the same for the emails. The basic idea with this is to give a quick way to show the load emails and messages is creating for that time. For example, if one person has 100 messages, you would know that mm, it might not be a good idea to assign a production task. Therefore, when one adds a production item, he does so with full view of the actual load the performer is confronting. And so makes sure the performer is not overloaded with too many emails and too many tasks. Clever, huh? Now we'll take a look at the pull down menu that opens up when we click the little arrow to the right of the icon. First, we see show both. This is selected and what it does is it shows both emails and time maker messages on the matrix. Show only emails shows only emails and Show only time maker messages shows only time maker messages. Show both shows both. Okay, next is show all messages today. When this option is unselected, the email boxes are spread based on the dates the emails or time maker messages were received. Selecting this option shows all past emails and time maker messages on today's column. See, they're all grouped on today's column. We'll unselect this and next is join time maker messages and emails in one box. Selecting this option shows all time maker messages and emails per performer in one box on the column of the dates which received messages or emails. So before I click it, take a look here. Notice there's one box for Adam Green for emails and one for messages. Now I will click it and they get grouped in one box. If we take a look to the left, it shows the messages for that day and to the right, it shows the emails for that day. Now we'll unselect this option. Next is the show messages in first row. 
to show this, I have to first click on the Show Calendar Items button, which we'll go over in the next tutorial. But if I click it, it shows us a little display of calendar items. Now, if I go to the Show Messages in First Row, it'll show all the messages and emails in the first rows of the matrix. Okay? We'll go over the calendar part in the next tutorial. And that concludes TimeMaker Matrix Lesson 8. Your next recommended lesson is Load Leveling Part 2, Calendar, Lesson 9. See you there.